Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be predicting this weekend's scores for the games. So, we have 6 games this weekend, 5 on the Saturday and 1 on the Sunday. This week we have Aberdeen against Mirren as our first game to predict here. 4th against 6. Looks like this could be an interesting game for both teams. Both teams are on. One team's in bad form and the other team's in not so bad form. Aberdeen have won one in the last five games with two draws and two losses following that as well. So it's not the best of form for Aberdeen to be in. Fans are asking the question of Derek McInnes' place. Um, St Mirren are on three wins and two losses. Obviously didn't play well against Celtic in midweek and they did at Parkhead the other week. I'm going to go for Aberdeen to St Mirren 1. I think they will have a poor performance. Um, I think it takes it more than a wee bit of time there because they're passing wasn't because the pitches aren't any better than what they were during the midweek. The weather is still the same. It's not changed. I think that's going to be a tough game. I think Aberdeen will come out winners 2-1. Um, and then McInnes will take three points for, another, for a win for Aberdeen. Could that shave his job? Could that? We don't know. The both have decided to back him. We know that he has been backed, so he's keeping the job now until the end of the season. But will this save his job on next season? We don't know. Second game is Dundee United against Livingston. Dundee United in seventh, Livingston in fifth. Livingston having a good season, obviously. One one loss in fourteen games under David Martindale. That's a fantastic record, brilliant. Um, Dundee United on the other hand 1-1, one, 1 one draw and 3 losses I'm, I'm saying that's pretty poor form for Dundee United this season they've not been in bad form the full season but I think this is the worst run that they went on um, I think Livingston will come out 2-0 winners on this um, I think Livingston have been a strong team they get a draw against Celtic as well they went that 13 games unbeaten uh, fantastic they're in a Scottish League Cup final I think and that'll be a good game as well because St Johnson did end their running streak um, Dundee United's forms pretty poor for what Dundee United's standard is so I think they'll drop points here again as Livingston 2-0 uh, one, one loss is not bad for Livingston as well Livingston been outstanding in the last 13 games that they've played brilliant they're in fifth place they're comfortable in the league uh, I don't know if I don't think they can get any any European things I don't think they will I think it will still be Aberdeen and the Hibs pushing for that uh, but it will be a good game as well against the United because the United are one of the teams that can perform and don't perform they've shown it in the season they can perform in big games small games ok games they've performed in a lot of games Underperformed in quite a lot as well. Um, the second game is, um, uh, sorry, third game is Mullerwell Hamilton. Obviously, Hamilton my performance at the weekend was fantastic. They picked up a point against the league leaders, the ones who are running away with the league. To be honest, uh, Hamilton deserved all three points in that game. So many people have said that as well. Rangers were poor. Um, they got luck, they were lucky to even pick up a point in that game. Gerald wasn't happy, McGregor wasn't happy. McGregor by far the best player in that park that day. Kept them from getting probably smashed off Hamilton. Would have been a strange day if that did happen. But Hamilton I think will pick up a point here again against Mullerwell. Ninth against twelve. Hamilton are bottom of the league now, but they always manage to survive, which is I would say it's a good thing for Hamilton, but not for other teams because they always know Hamilton wait till the last to survive. Um, I think it will be Mullerwell 1, Hamilton 1. Mullerwell, uh, 2 losses, 3 wins in the last 5 games, with Hamilton 3 losses, 2 draws, yet to win a game. I think this will be another draw. I think they need the point. They need 3 points or 1 point to maybe survive or even just help themselves climb above the likes of Ross County, the likes of Mullerwell and that, that are down there. Um, it's been a strange 
weeks for Hamilton playing that performance, how they haven't played like that all season. They've been fighting for the relegation all season, but they played like they should be somewhere in that league against Rangers at the weekend. But one off performances don't don't get you anywhere in the league. They don't they don't help you survive, they don't help you push for push for the title, they don't help you push for Europe. You need to be consistent in your performances and that's what Hamilton failed to do this season. Be consistent. I think Brian Rice is doing a good job. I think they will get relegated. I think this is Hamilton's season to get relegated, but I think they'll come back and they get up. But I think a one each draw is good enough for Hamilton standards now. Uh, the fourth game we have is Rangers against Kilmarnock. This is going to be a strange game because Rangers have a foul Kamar Roof and Alfredo Morelos. They're two strikers if they're out, so they'll be playing either Cedric Eaton or Jermaine Defoe. I know Defoe was injured, but now Defoe is back. Um, people are saying that this will be a boring game, it will be a nil nil this. I think Rangers will still come out on top. I think Cedric Eaton will score. I think he's good enough to play in the squad as well. Start. It's just a shame for him, he's got two good, two other good strikers that are better than him in the squad, but I wouldn't say he's a bad striker. Um, I think Rangers 2, Kilmarnock 0. Kilmarnock haven't registered a win in the last five games, that's why they were sacked, uh, the manager was sacked. Kilmarnock obviously bringing in Tommy Wright, good signing. Tommy Wright will be playing against his son, Scott Wright, in the weekend. Um, on the other hand, Rangers have two draws, three wins in the last five games. Um, they've been outstanding all season I mean there's nothing really they've not doubted anybody this season with performances and anything apart from Hamilton at the weekend but that's one game for the for the other 20 odd games they've played they've played fantastic there's been probably been a couple of poor performances in there but that's it but they've been fantastic all season they're running away with the league they're they're, they're just playing well now aren't they um, the fifth game is, I think this is going to be a good game as well because the last time this game happened, it ended in a 2 0 win for Ross County against Hibs, which was a shock to Hibs, a shock to all other fans because they were going for Europe, they're wanting the European football, they're sitting third to now, but you never know. Uh, I'm going to go for Hibs 2 1. Uh, Ross County's form has been two wins, three losses in the last five games. I think that's okay form. I think it's not the best. I think it's good. I think it's what Ross County's form looks to be. I know there's three losses in there, so they've dropped nine points there. But Ross County have managed to pick up the six points there that will probably help them stay up. I think they will stay up as well. Um. I think that it's uh, got to be a good game. I think Hibs will come out, but comfortable winners 2-1. I think they'll go 2-0 up and Ross County will score at some point in the game. Um, Hibs have got four wins and one loss in their last five games. People were shouting for Jack Ross out. He lost the Scottish League Cup semi-final. It was a cup that Hibs could have took and just that could have been their first trophy since... 2016, I'm sure that's when the last one, the Scottish Cup. But I think that was, that was, I think that was supposed to be their cup this season. But poor performance again. Livingston fantastic, and against St Mirren, they in the final. And Johnston played well against Hibs. Brilliant in the final. Two good teams going into the final. Two good teams that are at the same level. Well, it should be at the same level, but Livingston are overperforming, which is fantastic for them this season. Um, St Johnston against Celtic on the Sunday. This is a Sunday game. Um, I think Celtic will continue to play the performances they've been playing the past couple of games. Good performances, some where we could improve as well. Um, I think Celtic won 3-1. I think the clean sheet will go. We kept the clean sheet against St Mirren. We've seen Welsh and Ayer again. If Welsh is fit, then maybe we will keep the clean sheet, but if we need to play Peter and Duffy, I think I think there will be a mistake in there that leads to a goal, but I think Celtic will comfortably win this. Um, 3-1. St Johnson's last form has been three wins, one draw and one loss, which is, again, good form for St Johnson, 
but I think Celtic are playing well in the now. Four wins and one loss in the last five games. Um, I think that's good for perform- good performances as well. I think that a lot of change is going to happen at Celtic as well, so it'll be interesting to see what happens and what players stay and leave. But I think they will come out on top on Sunday, and that'll be it. And then that is my prediction, so I'll quickly run through them again. I've got Aberdeen 2, St Mirren 1, Dundee United 0, Livingston 2, Mullowell 1, Hamilton 1, Rangers 2, Kilmarnock 0, Hibs 2, Ross County 1, St Johnston 1, Celtic 3. Thank you for watching. See you later.